Hi guys, what is happening? I've been getting a lot of questions from people in the United States and the UK asking how they can come and work in Hong Kong in 2023. Because if you work in finance, education or technology, it's going to be pretty straightforward to get a work visa. However, if you're working in another industry, it's gonna be not so simple to get a work visa or even impossible. So if that's the situation you find yourself in, make sure you watch to the end of this video because I might be able to help you. Okay, the first is a dependent visa and this is for people who are married to either Hong Kong citizens or people who are currently working in Hong Kong. So if you are married and you want to come and work in Hong Kong but you are finding it difficult to get a work visa, think about your partner's job and whether or not it would be easier for them to get a work visa for Hong Kong. Say for example, your wife or your husband is a teacher, it's gonna be pretty straightforward and simple for them to get a work visa. You can then apply for a dependent visa which is directly linked to their work visa. It takes about six weeks to process and the massive plus side with this is that once you arrive in Hong Kong, you can actually do any job that you want or even start out as self-employed. The second visa is a working holiday visa and unfortunately this is not going to be for everyone because you have to be between the ages of 18 and 30. There are only around 12,000 working holiday visas issued for Hong Kong every year and 5,000 of those actually go to Australian citizens. 1,500 go to Japanese citizens 1,000 to British citizens, 200 go to people from Canada, and unfortunately, if you are from the United States, you cannot apply for a working holiday visa for Hong Kong. If you are lucky enough to get a working holiday visa, there are some different regulations depending on where you are from. If you are from the UK, you can actually work for the same employer for the full 12 month duration of your visa. However, if you are from another country, you may be limited to only three months or six months with any one employer, after which you will need to find a new job. I will leave a link to all the information in the description of this video, so you can check that out at a later the third type of visa you might want to consider is an investment visa and this is a bit of a grey area because there are no set rules or regulations in who is entitled to an investment visa but it is generally accepted that you need to invest around 100,000 US dollars or around 10 million Hong Kong dollars and it seems you need a first class degree or maybe a master's degree. However, some exceptions are made and even if you don't meet those education requirements, you still may be able to receive an investment visa. With this visa, you can come and set up a business in Hong Kong or you can invest in a business that is already set up here. It used to be that you could simply invest in property and that would allow you to get the investment visa. That option is no longer available. So there you have it, three different types of visas that can help you come and work legally in Hong Kong, even if you don't qualify for the standard work visa. I hope that helps some of you guys out. If it does not help you in your specific situation, please hit the subscribe button and check out some more videos because I'm going to explain the fastest and easiest things you can do in your home country that will enable you to get a work visa and come work here in Hong Kong. And I'm also going to look at some training programs which will lead to jobs all of which you can do right here in Hong Kong.